Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Dr. Stephen Stokes. Today I'd like to talk a bit about digestive enzymes and how important they are in the big picture when it comes to your health. Not many people talk about it. We hear a lot about being deficient in certain vitamins and why you should go and take vitamin C or vitamin D or vitamin B. But what we have to remember is that we're supposed to get all of our vitamins and our minerals from the foods we eat. We shouldn't have to take supplementary vitamins. But what happens a lot of times is that we're either eating poorly, right? Or we're not breaking down the foods we're eating properly. We're not extracting the nutrition from the foods we eat. But taking a digestive enzyme with each meal is going to ensure that we get the nutrition extracted from the foods and it's going to optimize our health. Now, the most important enzyme when we talk about breaking down foods in the stomach is pepsin. Pepsin is a very aggressive, very strong enzyme that can break down collagen, right? It can break down that ribeye steak that, that's sitting in your stomach and extract the protein from that. The problem with pepsin is that it has to be activated with a high level of acidity. So your stomach pH has to be very low in order for the pepsin to activate. And we want that because otherwise, if that pepsin got up into our throat, it would burn our throats, right? So the pepsin has to be activated with a, in a high acidic environment, which is what the stomach is supposed to be. Problem is, of course, is that many patients have stomach acid levels that are too low, meaning it's an alkaline stomach, not an acidic stomach, and the pepsin never activates. Why is this? Well, you know, you go to the drugstore, you'll see why people are taking antiacids for just about everything. Those antiacids are causing the stomach acid levels to decrease and the pepsin can't activate and we can't break down our foods properly and those foods are going to pass, those food molecules unbroken down are going to pass into the bloodstream, they're going to pass into the intestines where they're going to cause all sorts of trouble. The number one sign that you're having this problem is gas. If you're a guy or a girl that gets a lot of gas then take digestive enzymes. You're probably going to be amazed. It's probably going to fix that problem right away. Because again, the GI tract is supposed to be acidic. And when it gets alkaline, it causes all sorts of problems, including these gas producing microbes. So we want to acidify the GI tract. And the best way to do that, in my opinion, is by starting to take digestive enzymes. Now, of course, for me, the best recommendation is called Zypan from Standard Process. And what makes Zypan so unique is that it's going to have hydrochloric acid and pepsin in one uh, tablet. You're going to take anywhere from one to five of these with each meal. So if you're having a, a big ribeye steak and you, you got to really break it down, you take four or five Zypans. If you're having a salad for lunch, a light salad, you may only take one Zypan. So you have to regulate it based on how much work you feel that the stomach is going to have to do. I'll give you an example. Yesterday, I was at Whole Foods with my wife, and I did something I rarely do. I got bamboozled. I got suckered into buying a slice of pepperoni pizza uh, from the bakery, and I rarely do this, but I did it yesterday. However, being... Uh, as smart as I am, uh, and trying to alleviate my guilt, I took three Zypan just before I ate the pizza. Now, the reasoning for that is as follows. I know the pizza is garbage. I know that it's a lot of gluten, a lot of bread. It's got some processed cheese, some, some you know pepperoni slices on there that are just going to be filled with nitrates. Taking the Zypan increases my stomach acid level and increases my pepsin level to ensure that I break all that junk down properly. Plus, the increased acidity level of my stomach is going to ensure that if there's any bacteria on that pizza, any nasties, it's going to all die when it hits the stomach, right? So that was my reasoning behind it. And that's the kind of way you need to think about things. If some people are very sensitive to increasing their hydrochloric acid intake because they have ulcers. And you may have an ulcer, what we call an occult or a hidden ulcer and not even know it. A great way to test before you take the Zypan is to get two ounces of apple cider vinegar. Of course, Bragg's apple cider vinegar is very popular. You can get that at any grocery store. Mix the two ounces of apple cider vinegar with four ounces of water. Drink it. Wait five minutes. <laughs> See how you feel. <laughs> 
If you're getting a warm sensation in your chest or a burning sensation in your chest or in your throat, you're sensitive to the acid. And you probably should not start with Zypan. For those patients, I always recommend they start with Enzacor, another product by Standard Process. Enzacor is a digestive enzyme that relies on plant enzymes. Okay, So we're going to get um, enzymes, for example, from pineapple. Um, we're going to also have some glutamine in there, I believe. And so this is going to help you uh, break down the foods in your stomach without using an increased uh, acidity. It also doesn't have pepsin. It's not as good as Zypan, but it's way better than not taking anything. And if you have a, an ulcer, you can't take the Zypan because it's going to hurt like heck. Um, you're going to have to start with the Enzacor, fix the ulcer, ulcer, and then go to Zypan. Also, if you're a vegetarian and you do not want to ingest animal products, you can't have Zypan because it's made from animal products, right? That's where they get the pepsin, and so you're not going to want to ingest uh, Zypan. You're going to want to take uh, Enzacor instead. If you're interested in these topics, I made a, a longer video, almost like a master class of upper and lower GI. You can find that video on my site. Each video is about 30 minutes long, where I explain all the different conditions and illnesses that you can have in the upper and in the lower GI and uh, recommendations for how to treat those. Um, you can also go to my website, drstephenstokes.com. You can download a free copy of my book where I have an entire chapter on digestion. And if you're interested in buying Zypan or Enzacor from Standard Process, you can buy it directly with a Standard Process account. Again, there's information on my website in regards to how to do that. And that's a free account, by the way. Hope this was useful. Do not eat the pepperoni pizza um, at Whole Foods. But if you decide to do it, take some Zypan. Thank you very much.